What's up dudes and dude it's the internet. My name's Nathan. We are back again for another Trove to Trove tutorial video where I'm gonna hopefully be able to instruct you on the fastest way to get experience. Granted, this is my way of getting experience. I'm not saying it's the most efficient, but it's just what I do and it it works, so I'll just say that much. So what you're gonna be doing is focusing on the most important thing of all, which is the level requirement. It says suggested level, it should just be a level requirement. It may as well be because you're not gonna be getting any experience or at least a garbage amount unless you're the required level. Usually for like, just for example, I'm just using these beginners portals, but you should be able to go into this portal at level three and be getting the same experience as the suggested level. If not that, you're gonna be getting a little bit less, but you're still gonna end up getting more than the previous portal at the least. So it still is beneficial to uh, go to the next portal at least one level under the suggested so long as you can handle it. And then of course there's a power rank requirement as well. And you can just pretty much follow that all the way up to the top. It's not really that big of a deal uh, to actually do heavy grinding or anything like that until you end up getting to level 20. You can get to level 20 in like, in no time, like seriously, especially if you focus on grinding for Saturday. If there's one day of the week that you want to log in and start grinding on Trove, it's Saturday because that extra experience does make a difference. It makes it so that it's almost useless not to use it. Like I don't touch any characters unless it's experience day just because seriously who cares uh, but otherwise if you have patron which of course I buy with in-game flux you can get yourself uh, the hundred percent boost which is fantastic not to mention patron just has a ton more benefits so uh, the reason that we're hanging out at the u5 portal is once you end up getting to level 20 you're gonna wanna stay in U5 to level 22, if not 23, just because the experience that you're getting from here is gonna be just fine. You're not gonna need to force yourself to go into U6, even if you can handle it, because you're not gonna be getting that much more experience. From U5 and onward, I don't know the other previous portals, because I honestly haven't had a character that's level one to, for like a million years, but from U5 and up, you're only gonna be getting a thousand more experience per tiered portal. So you're gonna wanna hang out in U5 until you're getting the maximum amount of experience from U6. And of course, until you can solo U6. I would highly recommend that if you cannot solo a world, uh, or if you don't have a group, or if you generally find it not to be very, very fast, you're gonna wanna stick to the portal one tier down. Even though it's less experience, it's still much more beneficial to be able to handle a world faster rather than going into U6 and forcing yourself to do dungeons 10 times slower just for a thousand more experience, you know? And fun fact that I didn't know for like a million years, uh, if you actually complete a three-star dungeon, a three-star dungeon, uh, the total amount of experience, if you kill the two side bosses and the three-star boss, total, it, it, it equates to a total of completing three dungeons, just three separate dungeons. I had no idea about that the whole time and then somebody had told me about it and I was like, oh, that's a kind of fun little fact. Um, this same thing applies to going into U7. Now, you can get up to level 25 very, very easily in U6, no problem, and then U7 kicks in. If you're strong enough to handle it or if you end up having a group, definitely go to U7. Usually you can find quite a few groups of people that are in U7, so it's not a problem. But again, you're only gonna be getting a thousand more experience. So if you're soloing it and it takes 50 years to complete dungeons, then don't bother with it. Go back to the portal that you can handle a lot faster. Once you actually get up to U8, this is where trouble starts hitting because for your first few characters, it's probably gonna take a while to get up to 5,000 power rank in the first place, but otherwise it's just a thousand more experience. And hopefully by the time you actually get that weird voice break. By the time you actually get your hands on 5,000 PR, you should be able to handle U8 no problem. Like seriously, U8 is kind of a joke when you actually jump up from U7 to U8, it's no problem. But if you ever get your hands on enough gems that you can get yourself to uh, 10,000 power rank and go up to U9, which chances are in all honesty, you're gonna be level 30 well before you actually reach U9 anyway, and that's perfectly fine. You can grind U8, no problem. U9 has way, like it's a huge step up from U8. Once you go to U9, things get serious, things get tough. Of course, you know, I can handle it, no problem. Only on this character, lots of people always ask me to like do U9 with other classes. I don't know if I have any other classes that have 10K PR or much less would be able to handle it. But either way, we're talking about experience and that's pretty much it everybody. So hopefully you found this video helpful and uh, otherwise get grinding, sign or and stay epic everybody.